So if you watch again the uh, PI index, you may have noticed that it's increasing again. So it was zero be, uh, when the INS was aligned, and now it's three, and it's increasing. So what to do? Um, we can just simply update our position, and w the only thing we need for that is um, a VOR DME. So um, we. Yeah, what, what, why, the, <laughs> I'm sorry, what are we going to do? We um, tune in, uh, We let's say we want to update the uh, second INS unit, so we tune in um, the uh, VOR we want to use for the update uh, into our NAV2 frequency, which I've done here. I used the uh, Rocky Mountain House VOR DME, which is frequency 114.30, and I just um, set it here on uh, NAV2. And well, then we gotta get um, the uh, coordinates and the altitude of the uh, VOR DME. And well, now to the uh, DME updating. You uh, take the uh, CDU number two because that's the one we want to update. Put the uh, selector knob to uh, waypoint. And now you have to simultaneously uh, press numbers uh, the uh, 7 and 9 key uh, as you can't press uh, the keys simultaneously because you just got one mouse pointer you uh, use the right mouse button so first press number 7 key with the right mouse button and then the uh, number 9 key and this will bring us to the um, well uh, this will bring us to another um, menu so to say and well, you got uh, some uh, zeros up there and uh, a zero flashing in the uh, from two display. So here you can now enter the um, way uh, the coordinates of the uh, VOR DME as you are used to uh, enter them. So it's just north 52, 30, and I think uh, it's eight. And then you press uh, west. And then uh, one one five one nine and two. Insert again, and now we inserted the coordinates. Now we uh, gather enter the altitude of the uh, VOR, and therefore we press uh, simultaneously. So with the right mouse button, the uh, number three and the number nine key. So this brings us to the altitude display. And now we uh, before we enter any altitude, we gotta press the uh, two key. Now the insert button will illuminate and now we can enter the altitude. The view R is at some uh, 3500 something feet. So we uh, enter three and five. Then press insert. And well now we got everything entered and are ready for the DME update. But before that we can uh, we better check the distance to the uh, DME by uh, moving the uh, knob to the uh, distance time position and you see an indicated distance of 37 nautical miles which uh, matches with our uh, DME indication. So now move the uh, waypoint um, the uh, switch back to waypoint and now press waypoint change and press 1 because one is the uh, position we enter at the uh, coordinates of the uh, VOR DME, and yeah, if you entered it on another position, you gotta check where the wheel was. If you entered it on position two or position three, whatever, you just gotta press that button on the uh, keypad. So, but we entered it on position one, so we uh, press waypoint change, then one, and then insert, and now. Uh, uh, green light is coming up here at the INS updating uh, flags and now the uh, the uh, CDU is updating its position and it's recalibrating and you'll see the um, PI index slowly decreasing and if you fly with three units you just need to update one and which they will all mix together and every unit will be updated automatically and well yeah you can the PI index is now at 4 but it will 
soon start to decrease again to uh, 1, which is the uh, lowest PI index you can uh, reach during flight. Well, yeah, and um, that's basically it. Uh, just one thing to mention, we are now going... We're, our flight plan contains more than 9 waypoints, so um, we just gotta enter these waypoints during our flight. So we already uh, are proceeding from... Uh, we are already proceeding to waypoint 3. So the first two uh, slots are available again. So we can just... Um, change uh, we can just proceed from our current position to waypoint 3 which will uh, free our uh, first two waypoints and we can enter the new waypoints there because if the unit reaches um, the uh, last waypoint waypoint number nine it will automatically uh, start again at waypoint number one so it always cycles through and uh, we can use the uh, first positions again to enter new waypoints Ah uh, well, that's how the uh, INS system works, and as you can see, the uh, the performance index is already decreasing. That's mean that's meaning uh, that our DME update is working. And yeah, well, that's it about the uh, INS system. I hope I could explain it to you a bit more. And well. If you got any questions, just send me a message somehow and yeah, there's also an INS tutorial, a written tutorial on uh, my website www.v1/rotate.org. So yeah, hope I could make it a bit more easier for you to uh, use the uh, INS system.